Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to activate Do Not Disturb mode on iOS 26. To activate the Do Not Disturb mode, uh, let's first go to the settings, but later on I'm going to show you how to do it with a different method. So, go to the settings. Now, if you go to focus, I believe that's what it's called. Yes, focus. Uh, you'll see all the focus modes and I have lots of them but of course you probably will just have like the do not disturb driving sleep work and if you haven't uh, set up any of those then they will see say require uh, setup required I'm gonna create a new one but of course you can just change the settings of any of those that you have um, let's create like a custom for example but you can also select a preset let's set it to like whatever name now mm, next customize focus and there are a few things that you can change first of all what is allowed or what's silenced in the focus mode because what it basically does is it silences notifications or even calls from some people um, during that focus mode when it's enabled so let's go to people first and you can choose who whom to allow or you can also select whom to silence so if you select whom to silence then um, everyone who's not silenced just will you'll receive notifications from besides those that you'll add here but I actually prefer to have it at allow notifications from so everyone b will be silenced besides those that I'll set here so let's click on add set a contact a few contacts uh, uh, can be set of course then approve it and now click on next uh, then it will ask you uh, about calls so you can uh, allow calls from everybody from allowed people only from favorites or from contacts only and I'm gonna set it from everybody because I just want to see if someone calls me right mm, but feel free to of course change it uh, and you can and there's lots of different focus modes because you can have different focus modes for like different things that you're doing like for example for work for some mm, just uh, you know home or school and uh, to have different people allowed or disallowed at that time uh, for example you can mm, silence these people from work um, when you're at home and stuff like that uh, then you can go to apps and you can also silence notifications from certain apps or allow notification from certain apps besides all the other uh, like ones right uh, so <clears throat> um, I'm gonna allow I, I don't have any apps <laughs> that's quite weird um, I, I I know have I have more more apps but it's low-key bugged right now I, I, I'm just gonna set some anything but it should be working you know I'm gonna allow these but you can also silence notifications from all apps right I'm gonna click on done then also let's go to options and in the options you can see things like show on lock screen if you enable that then uh, silence notifications uh, will be showed uh, on the shown on the lock screen instead of notification center and notification center is here as you slide down from the top of your screen then the lock screen is when your screen is locked right looks similar but it just you can group it so it's either on the lock screen or on the notification center or I think that um, actually the show on lock screen shows on both but I'm not sure about that then you can also hide notification badges you, you might have noticed that on apps on your phone uh, in the top right corner sometimes sometimes there's a red badge that shows a number of notifications from that app if you enable hide notification badges then uh, you'll basically not see any uh, and silence notifications you can um, 
set it to always or while locked so if your phone is unlocked and it's set to while locked then you'll see still see all the notifications it's all up to you then uh, you can dim the lock screen if you want with that certain focus mode of course these options can be adjusted to all the focus modes that you have differently now you also can see i'm not going to dive in too deep into that but you can uh, simply uh, choose a lock and home screen pages um, to help you limit uh, distractions so let's go to a lock screen now i can choose from my available lock screens which one to set and i can also click on choose here and select only the pages that i want to be able to use during that um, focus mode of course these apps that are on pages that i haven't selected will still be available in the app library but they just won't be as visible so you can like for example move your TikTok and um, Instagram and stuff like that to a different uh, page on your home screen then go back to this setting and select all the pages besides the ones that have these distracting apps mm, I think that's pretty great it just makes you not focus on some unnecessary things during that focus mode for example if you're at work or if you're studying um, now let's go to smart activation you can enable that and um, this will automatically turn uh, the focus on at relevant times throughout the day based on signals like your location app usage and more uh, but you can also disable that and actually add a um, just static schedule so let's click on add schedule of course you don't have to do it because you can easily enable or disable that mode I'm gonna show you how, how to do it later but if you want you can set a schedule based on time based on location or based on app you're in uh, I'm gonna set it based on location now um, I'm gonna search I don't know if, if it'll find it because I think I might have lost Wi-Fi connection for whatever reason. Okay, I know why. I <laughs> I recorded a video on how to reset all settings, so, so yeah, I don't have Wi-Fi connection right now. <laughs> Let's go back to the focus, right? Um, and then the hard reset add a schedule location and now let's find that okay I can find it right now but um, once you set it then it will be set or you can also set it based on time and based on app whatever you like then uh, you also can add a filter but I I don't really know about filters so feel free to just dive into that you can see there are some app filters or system filters that you can do um, that's great um, and um, now let's see how to enable or disable these modes or switch between them easily um, from like whatever screen you're on right now just slide down from the right top part of your screen and if you see this button then it's great if you don't then click on plus in top left corner add a control and now find focus click on it and add it now i have to that's funny mm, i can click on it click on this uh, little icon on the left side to enable or disable the previously used one or click on the text or press and hold as well to switch between different modes can enable disable um, do whatever you like and uh, that's basically it for this video i hope that the video is helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one